Yo guys, Tribal Chief Jeff here. I'm joined with the wise man so you know what time it is. We're going to get straight into it. Survivor Series review. A lot of things happened. It's a couple of days late, but we have lives, man. That's, um, yeah, man, we got lives, but here we are. We're still committed. And before we go any further, wise man. Hey, we lit. We are lit. That's what I'm talking about. It's your boy, just Joe, just Joe. Oh, you know, it's the man with the mic. It's the, what I should say. <laughs> just late yeah. one, but soon to be great one. It's clubber in time. Hey, returns of returns, returns, returns. We lit, we lit. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Guys letting us in the more. But one more thing, if you guys don't know, up there in the description, all our social medias. Be sure to follow us. But Joel, let's just get straight into it, man. Survivor series has come and gone. The talking points, the main talking points. We will get there. We're going to start with where it all began, the Women's War Games match. In my opinion, the right team, the wrong team won, which was the team of the faces, which you predicted, I believe. No, I predicted damage control. I predicted you predicted the... Damage control. the did you predict them as well? Yeah. You said, remember we said that sure. they've lost some big matches, remember? Yeah, and they lost again, fam. They lost again, but, fam. Um, yeah, man, it's all building up to Bailey getting kicked out. And yeah, soon come. Face yeah. turn, really and truly. She took the bullet. She was the first one in. I was in a wrestling group chat. People were wondering why is Bailey the first one in. It was pretty simple, man. Take the most damage because you know all the other girls they, they don't they don't give a f about her. You know them things as well. She took the most damage. I believe it was Becky and uh, shots that big that kicked off, right? Um, yeah. And then yeah, eventually your sky came in. Bianca came in. Give, she actually came with two braids. She was beating Eos ass. And then obviously the rest came in. And um, yeah, we all know the, the about the spot, Eos Sky. It was um she did the same thing she did in NXT with the dust bin, watch trash bin, whatever they call it in the States. But yeah, that was probably trash the spot can. of the night, most likely. Yeah, man. And One yeah, of them, yeah. Best match of the night for me, the first match. Um, yeah, man, they really set the tone on women mm. kicking butt, seriously kicking butt. But wise man, what do you have to yeah. say? No, nah, they kicked ass for real. As we thought they would. Uh, I didn't think uh, the team of the faces would win, but like you said, maybe that's just the thing for Bailey to get kicked out. It does make sense though, isn't it? Obviously, if she lost the match, took the pinfall, they're going to get angry with her and kick her out. So that's damage control. I don't, uh, you said a lot, so I don't want to say too much that you could have already said. Uh, Becky, Becky? Becky and Charlotte hugged it out. They are all good for the time being. Um, the ladies went that hard with the weapons. And, and next thing was deep, man. Do you know what I'm saying? It, that it was, was like, guy. Yeah. Trash can. No, the no look jump. You know, she just didn't even look. She put the trash can on. Hey, she was off. Um, <laughs> you get me. Life is good. Um, Survivor Series is one of my favorite pay per views. Maybe my yeah, one of them up there. Of That's the Warden's War Games match in history. It might be right still. It might be right. That was, that was proper good stuff, man. The women did set the tone. Yeah, man. I'm happy with that. Happy with that still. It was man, a good, uh, good opener. Free Bailey, man. Free Bailey. She's. <laughs> we will see what happens on, on SmackDown, man. Maybe maybe stuff won't happen so soon, yeah. But it's, you know things been building up. One thing I did. That Bailey's been taking a pinfall in all these big matches that Damage Control been losing, man. I don't like how it's another big match that they've lost, but it is what it is. We'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I think that's obviously. Smackdown. On, and in the coming weeks, man, take Bailey taking a bullet for Kyrie saying that eating up a spear and a manhandle slam off through a table, flipping on man. Free really? Bailey, she really poured, she gave it her all, man. Free her, man. Yeah. And now, on to the next couple of matches. We'll go through this one quickly because not much happened. The next match for the Intercontinental Championship, the Miz versus Gunther. And yeah, this match. Obviously, Gunther was always retaining, so it was always going to be out about how much of a fight Miz put. And um, yeah, Miz, he did what he had to do, but mm. ultimately he ended up tapping out. And what I saw was that he tapped out to the Lion Tamer. And then I, that I saw on Twitter, that's obviously Chris Jericho's move. Mm. And apparently Gunther used that move to rub, in, to rub it in on the Miz, like he couldn't uh, match Chris Jericho's uh, record 
for, um, for the Intercontinental Championship. So, um, yeah, you know, Gunter, that guy, he's Savage, got so bro. many moves, this guy. You don't really see him win by submissions much, but he's got he's got so many moves that could finish you. Submissions, regular moves. He doesn't seem to have a specific finisher, but this guy will just basically beat you until you're dead. And um, the match was um, underwhelming or overwhelming. I'm sorry, wait. I don't did know. You, did you say the match lived up to expectations or was it? Mm, no. I think they can go better. I think they can go again, man. I think they can go again a bit more. They can cook more. But the build-up was really nice. The promo that we saw previously, we spoke about it in the preview uh, where Gunter said, boy, you need to be bullied some more. That, that line might be the most savage line I've ever heard in my life. Um, but the match was good. Uh, the Miz even okay. trying to do a little hill tactics to, to you know, dig down deep but you just couldn't you just couldn't take the the, the smoke from Gunter that's what I've got to say really still um, um, all i got to say though I think the worst thing man's ever heard is I wish you died in the womb oh, and yeah, Nikki Bella to a yeah, sister yeah, yeah, yeah that was a bit tough oh uh, blood sister I think that's the worst thing man's ever heard man. I hate that. definitely not you need to be bullied a bit more yeah but yeah you know, it's certainly of them man honestly but yeah Gunter retained just the usual you know next match but, um Obviously, we both predicted this. And the same again, we, we both predicted Santos Escobar to win. And he defeated Dragon Lee. Decent match. It felt like he had an abrupt ending. Mm. But Santos Escobar came away with the win. This guy had, had the crowd trying, fuck you, Santos. Crazy, fam. Um, yeah. yeah, Lee put up a good fight. His first um, his first match on the main roster premium live event. Decent Obviously, we see, we'll see what happens on SmackDown. We'll see where we go from here. Mm. Big win for Santos. He needed that. Wise man, your thoughts? Mm. Um, no, I think you summed it up proper still. Uh, not much more to stay, say. At the time that this match aired live, I was sleeping, so I had to rewatch it. But even then, no offence to either our superstar, I was just eager to get to the main event. Um, but of course, Jeff was awake. <laughs> And this thankfully, he can give you guys the, you. the rundown. I did look at the time of the match, though. It was like seven minutes or something. It weren't, it weren't, it weren't too sick. Six. There you go. See, I said five. I tried and, to up the and Jeff was like, the Jeff was like, ah, ah. No one's going to get beaten in five minutes. And the match was like six yeah, like minutes. Turn, so. Stop disrespecting these superstars. I'm just, I'm just making a prediction, I guess. But yeah, Jeff, you, you are... You hit the nail on the head with that one still. Let's see what happens on SmackDown. Yeah, man. And um, Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark. Rhea Ripley, Mammy, retained. I think it was a decent match. Yeah. Zoe put up a good fight. Mm -hmm. Had man thinking she was going to win at some points. Mm -hmm. She was eating up them attacks from Rhea, like um, up chucking Ben 10, just eating. No damage. You love your Ben 10, innit? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, man. I, did, I don't know what was going on with their makeup, though. I'll be real, man. I saw the makeup. I was thinking, what the hell are these women doing? Fam? But yeah, <laughs> decent match. Rhea does get a lot of hate because the only one good match she's had is that match with Charlotte when she won the title and one match with uh, Natalia. Those are like the only memorable matches of a title reign. So she gets a lot of hate for that. I don't really think that's a problem, though. It's not something that she. It's not exactly like, you know, her. It's... She's not the one that books herself in it. So there's always so much she can do. Mm -hmm. She's still one of the best. I believe she won. I believe she won the um, woman's number one wrestler of the year 2023. I think she deserves it, man. She's a great wrestler. Yeah, for real. And like, man, look at her. She's just superior to pretty much every female on the roster. Say for Raquel Rodriguez, Nia Jax. I'd even say Shayna Baszler as well. One day Shayna will take that woman, that woman's world title. Okay. See you one day, man. We're still pushing that Shayna agenda. There might have been, there might have been an imposter in there, but I'll let you, I'll let you speak your mind. Yeah, of course you're gonna talk about imposters. I know who you're talking about, but yeah, man. <laughs> nah, we don't, we don't have, we don't do Nia Jax hate over here. Um, nah, nah, she, she might cook in the future. You never know, innit? You never know. Yeah, man. I wouldn't say she's an imposter, but. Oh, so I'll leave Raquel then. We have on. No, no, no. All right. My, no one's an imposter. Sorry, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, wise man, your thoughts on that match? That you said everything perfectly, still. I can't say anymore. Big up Rhea Ripley. She's onto something. Someone's gonna have to come and cook her at some point. Um, that will obviously unfold. Royal Rumble time, Mania time. Good effort by Zoe Stark, but I just couldn't get the job done. But she's coming along nicely as well. I've been liking what she's been doing. She uh put up a good fight and uh. Up a good fight previously in at Crown Jewel, so hopefully they don't, you know, they don't, they don't 
fumble her. You know what I'm saying? But let's see what happens. Another clean defense from Mami as well. I don't think she's had a single interference in any of her title defenses, mm. unless I'm mistaken. But she always gets the she always hits the red tie, gets the one, two, three, and job done. Mm. You know, not there's not a lot of women that can really say that still. But now we go to the main event, the men's war games match. Um I believe Joel had Team Cody to win. I had the judgment day, things didn't go to plan. Um yes, man. Things didn't go to plan. And the reason things didn't go to plan, let's just get right into it, man. First of all, as you can see, your tribal chief's name, the three most destructive letters. The man came back, man. The Viper, the Apex Predator, the Legend Killer, the mm. Goat of Goats. Oh, my goat. The Great One. The Snake. Everything you want to call him, man. I said the Snake. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he came yeah, looking yeah. jacked. This guy was yeah. shaved. This guy was beefed up. This guy yeah. was buff. Randy Orton, man, he, he made his appearance for the yeah. first time in over 550 days. Wow. And the way he came out, I was in a wrestling group chat here. Even throughout the whole night, they were doing they were running the whole oh, it's Randy gonna turn up team. And I swear a lot of people are just idiots, man, because people are seen on, on Twitter, a lot of people are basically like, oh. Why are you announcing Randy Orton if he's not going to show up? A lot of people didn't really understand. I said in the group chat, this guy's going to do a Roman Reigns take. The way Roman Reigns appeared at payback near the end of the match, I said that's mm. what's going to happen. And um, yeah, it obviously happened. And when, when he came back, the, the, the man's heart was beating fast. I couldn't believe it. I had this massive grin on my face. The way he came back, they had, um, obviously they started with four and five. And then, um, you know, the judgment day, they tried to cash in when it was time for the fifth member. Mami came out. Right, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then banned. Girl, it was yeah, about she, to get... She, she, she went She went to the to the ref trying to cash in. Damien Priest thing. And then you just hear, I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. And out he came. And the pop, man, I couldn't believe it, man. Man, man wanted to scream, but... It wasn't an empty house. My sister you know, was trying to there. Yeah, I wanted to scream, man. Do you but think yeah, that was smart how they done it? Fam, like, that's what I expected to happen. Like, not the cashing team, but... What did I say to What did I say to you? What did I say to you? I watched the preview. I said, Damon's going to cash in. Obviously, he didn't, but the idea... He was going to try. He knew that, nah, 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 it's war games. It's not going to come One thing happen, about... Man. Yeah, Jemba, true. Jemba, one, Jemba. One thing... I remember, but one thing I want to say, because mm. in my group chat again, I was seeing someone talking about how LA Knight could win. How could you look at everything that has happened? What group chat are you in, bro? Damien Priest won. How could you see everything that's happened and still be thinking LA Knight was the one that should have won? What, that what, guy what, probably would have cashed it in by now and lost. What group chat is this? Everything that's happened, all the stuff that's happened with the briefcase, the way it's been involved in storylines, the constant cashing and failure attempts, the call of other interference, Last, last, the uh, the last premium live event was Kat Sami Zayn, and then tonight we had run, like, fam, how can you look at everything that's happened from the whole story that and still think someone else other than Damien Priest should have won our uh, okay. money in the bank? It's crazy, okay. fam. And what, yeah, what group chat is this match. though, man? We need to have words because I'm R- not in it. Fam, an RKO on um, who got the first one from my door? Was it Dominic? Je- no, yeah, Dominic. And then an that was RKO sick. That's so. Four. This guy tried to what he tried to escape. He got caught by Sammy and Seth. Oh, okay, yo, but even shortly before that, the guy looked at Jay with that like, I haven't forgotten pretty much. And then Jay saved him. I think he super kicked Damien. Yeah. It's crazy, fam. And then and yeah, around. pretty much, yeah, man. He let he lets Cody hit the crossroads on Damien Priest as well mm. to get the, the one, two, three. Cody Rhodes winning. And then you thought it was over. I was low key was edit. looking. I was low key on the edge of my bed, like, uh, is it gonna? Oh, oh. What do you see? What do you see? The cult of personality. And after nine long years, um, and just like you said, you asked me, I said, Ian, I did not expect it, man. I didn't think Punk was appearing back. 
um, I, yeah, and he came back. It was crazy, crazy. What What do you have to say about the match and Punk returning? For the match, uh, wow, you did cook there still. Where do I start? I just want to shout out to the entrances still. Judgment Day's gear was sick. Team Cody's gear was sick. Jey Uso got on top of the cage. I was like, yeah, he was loving it. That was sick. Uh, just to build up about yeah, the war games itself. Obviously, that being the invention of Cody, da- uh, Cody's dad, the late great Dusty Rhodes. Um, so obviously, it meant a lot to all the wrestlers in there because obviously that's a that's a big match. It's uh, like a you know like a Hell in a Cell or a, you know Royal Rumble. It's a legendary match. Um, do you know what I'm saying? And so that's something. The match itself was sick. I didn't. I enjoyed it. Some great spots. I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, obviously, I love the way Randy Orton came in, just gassed. Um, the RK on Dom was nuts. If you watched that back, that was a stupid sell. That was sick. You had him. They had everybody hit a, a, a middle rope DDT. Randy Orton said, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." Bam! Yeah, hit the DDT. He was on gas, bro. It was so sick. Yeah. Oh, hey, what else was there? JD McDonough getting dashed off by Seth and Sammy or somebody into an RKO. Crazy. Team Cody got the victory. There was finishes galore. And of course, like you said, you thought it was over. He was wiping the crumbs out of your beard. He was, he was getting ready for bed. He was putting your phone on charge. He was going to say, checking the time, saying, hey, it's, it's late. You see the badge in the corner. The commentators didn't say a word. And you hear the music. They, they continued not to say anything and they let that sh- I'm gonna kind of swear I'm gonna swear they let that shit play out bro punk came out to the point one of the most biggest pops I've ever heard in my life in Chicago his hometown we actually watched his last match in AEW that was we his last did. match we was there he was there Man, crazy thing and uh, of course he didn't do much but not much it was obviously he didn't need to do much but that in itself was a moment he just came out the same way Bray Wyatt returned as well I saw something and also, man's hearing oh. mm. that my goat of all goats, the greatest of all time women's wrestler, Mercedes Monet, apparently she might be coming back as well, which, yeah, it would just be absolutely crazy, man. But do you have any Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, I heard that as well. Um, you know, if she returns, it won't be, it won't be, you know, Bianca Belair thing no more still, man, we'll go straight back to the real part. <laughs> hey, you're Yo, such a fraud, bro. No shit, but fam, there's nothing Yo, saying anything, man. Be like, Belair, the mother said, I said, there'll be no Bianca Belair, you know, I'm straight back to the um, good. Listen, man, Bian- now Bianca hey. Belair's still number two, man, but Sasha Banks will always hey. be number one, fam. The way you dismiss You might know this already, fam. But, but I do want to... I did see a couple of tweets. Yeah, go on, go I just want to read out quickly. Go on. CM Punk. Randy Orton, The Rock, and John Cena returned to WWE in a three-month span. Wow. 2023 has mm. been a great year. That was pro wrestling finesse. It has been. Another one. This one from uh, Alistair McKenzie. Edge returned to WWE at Royal Rumble 2020. Brock mm. Lesnar returned to WWE. Yeah, SummerSlam 2021. Cody Rhodes returned to WWE at WrestleMania 2022. Um. CM Punk returned to WWE as a Survivor Series 2023. That's mm. four big returns at the big four in four separate years. Mm-hmm. Absolutely crazy. I think they may have one more. Yeah, also, The Rock as well. But yeah. Little Rock was already mentioned. No, he wasn't even mentioned so. <laughs> Why you look at that okay. tweet? Well, that wasn't even our paper. It's kind of just sorry about the, uh, the, the first comment. Don't forget The Rock. But that wasn't... I, at any other big four, which yeah, is not yeah, random. Yeah, sure, sure. Even even uh, our truth made his return. He did as well. Triple H gassed oh, it up, man. man. That was funny. Still, big up our truth. I just legend. want to say though, obviously, it wasn't on the air. It was obviously after that. They're obviously setting up Seth versus Punk at some point. Um, you got Drew storming out of there, so Drew Drew's still going to be involved in that somewhere. So you got, and I can't even lie to you, that main event scene on Raw is disgusting. You got. Seth, Punk, and people want Jay, both of Cody, ready. Sammy, Drew. You know what I'm saying? Judgment Day. This hey, it's a good time right now. Me personally, I'm gonna enjoy it because boy, you know what I'm saying? We're getting closer to that Royal Rumble, getting closer to that mania season. Oh we life is good. Life is wonderful, man. Life is wonderful. Like <clears throat> wrestling over the past couple of years has really picked up, man. Business has picked up, fam. Real talk, fam. Like, 
business has picked up. Like, I don't yeah, know Triple H what... has done well, you know. I mean, well, I can't say it's Triple, just Triple H. I guess it's probably, you know, the, you know, people where they're at in their careers. And but I no, I guess Triple H has done well to bring them back and maybe talk to them. And you know, because he talked to Cody, um, he talked to Cody. I think Vince won actually, didn't he? Did Vince go? But still, Triple H has talked to Cody. He's reconciled with Punk. Man, even had that picture. Or is it that with Punk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as Punk said on Raw, hell throws over. But you know what I'm saying? Times are changing right now, man. And uh, not changing. Yeah, I guess times are changing. There was time where I didn't even want to watch Raw a few months ago. I wasn't even watching Raw, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, now this is... I don't, know, I don't know how you could be doing that a few, a few from months ago. I don't understand if it was a 20, 2010 you No, know, nah, like last year. Was it last year or this year? No, nah, bro. Maybe last year. Uh, there were some pants. There's been some pants rules, like maybe just after Triple H when Vince was still doing that. Yeah, I can't that's lie. That's I think it was in summer. I tweeted, I don't watch wrestling on Mondays or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, thank goodness Triple H has turned it around, man. Still, that's all I've got to say, though. Listen. Um, just a quick random thing on Dakota Kai because I was reading a bunch of stuff. Did you know that Dakota Kai? could actually be a bloodline member because oh yeah her mother man. is actually Samoan. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. But man. they don't mention that, so I guess that's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, I was doing some reading like her, her mom's actually Samoan. Her dad's from New Zealand and um the name Kai has to do with something to it's a Samoan word for um I can't remember but yeah man. Oh, so yeah, yeah that's an interesting fact of the day for you guys, man. Bang him. No, because I was surprised when I saw that she's actually half Samoa, so she could be a bloodline as well. Maybe that's why she's low key the, the leader behind damage control. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe picking up tips from Roman Reigns behind the scenes. But, anyways, guys, it's been your tribal chief, it's been Joel, the wise man. Anything, any last words? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. Uh, social media up there. Shout out Jeff. He's been going crazy on the TikTok, YouTube. Uh, anything else? Subscribes going up, numbers going up. Shout out to you. So yeah, you, shout out to Jeff. Social media. Make sure you're doing the same to Joel, man. Check out his stuff. Yeah. numbers up as well, man. If you mess with Jeff, mess with me, man. Come on. Um, enjoy the wrestling you watch. Bless. Yep. Acknowledge us both. Subscribe and do that by subscribing to our channels. Until next time, put your ones in the sky. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.